If you look at the pain, it's across all sectors. Uh, so it's not just real estate, hospitality, trading, retail, etc. And in some respect, it's easier to um, have bear a view on a five year, next five years than it is it is on the next two years. Uh, but but the road ahead does look to be at best sideways over the next few quarters. And we are we are at a time of a cycle where I think the upside potential is a lot higher than downside risks. So in some respect, it's not a bad place to be for depending on where you are in the on the equation. Yeah. It looks like it's lasted a little bit longer than you would have liked. So in the previous conversations, you said this sideways trade would end quite soon and then it would strengthen again. At this point, when when do things pick up again? Look, 20, late 2019, 2020, 2021. Look, we have to we have to um, plan for the worst. Uh, I can talk a little bit about, about our plans, but as to when that will turn, Dubai is impacted by so many factors around it, including geopolitics. Uh, it is not inconceivable to see something dramatically changing at a, at a macro factor, oil prices going up back to where one wants them to be long term. Geopolitical uh, tension eases a little and a lot can, can change for Dubai. But from a planning perspective, we're planning for a, a, a difficult 2019 and, and not significantly better 2020 either. So what are you planning then in terms of additional incentives to, to lure buyers? We understand you're currently offering uh, 10 years with no service charge and registration fees waived. Uh, is there going to be more of that and what will that mean for your margins? Uh, look, we have to um, be realistic about where we are. If you look at our margins, our margins in, in, in the weakest quarter, they're just shy of 40 percent. And I think if you look at property developers around the world, 40 percent of margins that people would love to have in the best year. So all in all, in relative terms, they're not great, but all in all, they're very healthy to attract capital and reinvestment. So um, we think, but we, the one thing we will be very careful about is extended payment plans. And I think those extended payment plans is something we were not very fond of. We were never fond of, and we will not to do them too aggressively, uh, which means we have to exert extra effort to produce the same, same level of sales, and that we're prepared to do. And we package and, and we incur, as a result, higher short-term costs for better quality sales and better quality assets. Does that mean then you are open to accepting lower margins in light of the circumstances? I think margins are ma matter of fact and it's a market. I mean, you'd like to maximize your margin, but you've got you to you achieve the margin that that cycle or point in cycle allows you to achieve. Uh, there is a, an important connection between Dubai and, and a lot of the key other global financial markets. Uh, we just saw some economic data again that uh, the story in China is beginning to slow a little bit. Uh, you have the trade tensions, you've got rising interest rates, uh, uncertainty around Brexit, more sanctions on Iran. These are all important source markets for demand in Dubai. Uh, it's a tough time for... Completely, for completely. Could not agree more. And, and any of those factors, and therefore I said your downside risk is lower than your upside potential, and that's why we're approaching the future with cautious optimism. Any of those things, take, look, take trade war or anything else. I'm not a great politician or economist, but I think the world order will begin to take place sooner or later. And as soon as that happens, Dubai is in a, in a prime position to actually benefit from this. Any benefit in the region, Dubai will be the first one to benefit, and we saw that in the recent past. The important thing is to manage the organization in a way that you're ready and able to capitalize on opportunities when they present themselves. And we think they can't be that far away from where we are, given, given that we've gone through a couple of difficult years. Uh, you've seen the volatility in global markets in the last few weeks. I mean, out of all the risks we just discussed, what concerns you the most? I think it concerns me the most is, is um, general status of liquidity in the market. I think when liquidity dries out, then it's very difficult for real estate transactions to happen. And the fewer transactions that happen, the, the, the more careful people get. And as soon as liquidity starts getting tighter, people get very, 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 very careful. And liquidity is driven by, by a lot of factors, including oil and um, dollar strength, interest rates, etc. A big majority of your deliveries are in Dubai uh, with some of the global volatility. Has there been any noticeable shift in who your customers are? Our, look, look, our customer base, that you tend to have core markets. Uh, and they tend to be revolved around uh, the, um, Saudi, Levant, uh, the rest of the GCC. And then you've got filler markets that come and go depending on the wider, wider um, um, uh, geopolitical and economic, geoeconomic um, uh, changes in, in, the, in the world. We're very optimistic about the Chinese market. We have been over the last two or three years. And I, th I think Chinese numbers are so big that they can, they can drown Dubai.
supply, uh, for want of a better description. And all in all, if we put things in perspective, there are 20,000 units in an attractive city per annum. An attractive city like that isn't a great number to, uh, to, 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 to place. Are you a believer that uh, there should be a more active role played by the regulator in terms of managing supply over the next few years? Uh, maybe that could be a way to get the Dubai property market back on its feet much faster, much earlier. I think I wouldn't want the regulators to necessarily um, regulate supply too actively. However, the regulators can regu um, manage supply through release of land, for example. Um, I'm more concerned about regulations around ensuring the quality and the capability of development developers are such that they deliver what they launch. So I'm a little skeptical about payment plans. I'm also a little skeptical about some developers who are completely private and therefore there isn't enough scrutiny over, over their cumulative portfolio. There's a procedure of compliance that comes from adhering to a project by project by rerun and I think that's a fantastic work job that they've done over the years and they continue to do. But as a collective of portfolio, level of equity, credit risk, asset liability mismatch, in some respect, banks, they, they're, they're deposit takers, developers. And yeah. I think I, I'd want to see them slightly more regulations around that. So where's risk appetite for you? Is this a wait and see time or are you actively looking at uh, maybe some new ideas, uh, maybe some new expansion uh, strategies? Look, we always look at um, new products, new ideas, but, but it's about managing a margins, liquidity, profitability. And, and as, as we've said, we, we've always said we'd, and we were, we were uh, at a point where we knew that was going to happen sooner or later, uh, we would forego margin than we would forego the quality of our sales in terms of collections. And I think liquidity and cash flow is the name of the game. Uh, so you won't need any special arrangements in terms of the financing plans, uh, issuance of bonds or securities? We, we actually went out to the market. We sensed the market was going to get difficult late, middle of last year or so. We went out to the market earlier this year. We secured $400 million. We saw the market was getting tighter. Um, and, and you look, there are a couple of issues in the market. The market is soft and people have to pay significantly higher. And our plans were to have an ability to stay out of the market for two or three years. And, and we're on course for that. So when might we see another issuance? I think not, not in the foreseeable future.